we pass through peak heating and peak acceleration. Uh, it is recording that we are seeing G's on the order of uh, 11 to 12 Earth G's. Flight GSA. GSA flight go. We are processing data from Odyssey. starting. We are now getting telemetry from Odyssey. All right. Reversal two complete. Copy bank reversal two complete. Thank you. We have a connection, but we actually do not have any data yet. Copy. We can expect some intermittent contact at this time as the uh, signal gets there we increases go. to Universal respect the level. There we go. We are now seeing and and we have on CDP. Okay, copy. To and visualization is updated. Venture heading alignment. There it goes. At this time, the Odyssey is no longer trying to control how far it's flying downrange and is just heading directly for the target. End of range control, air used, minus 1.2 kilometers. 1.2. The EL team is reporting that uh, we are, uh, that things look pretty good at the end of range control. We have control, we have converged uh, about the target. Play EDL, the TDS warning is okay. Play Happy. Power on. We are seeing a tone from the one uh, indicating that we uh, have seen uh, we have seen heating on the heat shield uh, through the MEBI instrument. Uh, everything looks fine. This is as expected. During the setting alignment phase, we're flying almost horizontally like a plane. We're going about Mach 2.4 at an altitude of 17 kilometers or so. Vehicles reporting heartbeat tones again, uh, indicating that everything is fine during heading alignment. Uh, we are standing by for straighten up and fly right and parachute deploy. Vehicles continue to decelerate. We're down to about Mach 2. As a reminder, we should have parachute deploy around Mach 1.7. We're at 15 kilometers altitude. We've begun entry balance mass jettison. Predicted mid-flight downrange is 1.597 kilometers. EDL ops, Odyssey systems on EDL ops. Parachute deploy. Parachute. <laughs> Descending. 
Drop 70 meters per second. Single dodge. Single control air. Down to 50 meters per second. 500 meters in altitude. Standing by for sky crane. Constant velocity, accordion, nominal. Altitude error, 5.9 meters. We found a nice flat place. We're coming in ready for sky crane. Down to 10 meters per second. 40 meters altitude. Sky crane has started. Descending at about 0.75 meters per second as expected. Expecting bridal cut shortly. Tangle to us, you remain strong. Tango Delta nominal. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you feel calm, configured. Brittany stable. Brittany yep. stable. New jet is good. Touch down confirmed. We're seeing five. I'm not sure exactly which our orientation is of the vehicle, but uh, we're looking through it. Now, if you, 
I think in just a few minutes we might get even a, a, two, a, a larger 250 to 256 uh, frame uh, uh, pixel image um, of that same same end. So we're looking at the shadow. See, the horizon is actually in the distance. You can't really tell that. So we're looking actually at the shadow of the late afternoon sun. Uh, and uh, uh, so these are the rear half cams. The rear half cams. And, and it so does have a dust cover on it. It does course. have a dust cover, but it's the dust that covers the problem. It's the fact there's dust in the air because we've just blown dust all over the place with our descent engines. Fantastic. So there could be more. There could be more. If we get, if we wait, we might get, oh, oh yeah. Oh. This is the high risk. background and there is there is the wheel of the rover safely on the surface of Mars. I can't believe it. this is unbelievable. So we should, might get another one of these and if we're lucky before Odyssey goes away we'll get two more of these same dangerous going the other side of the vehicle and also probably dusty. This is amazing. Exactly. On the surface of Mars. Yes. Oh wow! We just, now we have another, just another image coming down. This is a view looking the other direction. There's still, it's still being processed. You'll see it in just a second here. It's another, this is a, another thumbnail image. Is that a shadow? That's the shadow of the Curiosity rover on the surface of Mars. about to end. Uh, it's about to set below the peak of Mount Sharp very shortly. Uh, so this is about all the data we're going to get, but things look great. Thank you very much. Thank you.